I'm going to demonstrate how you can approximately measure the density of mercury using a simple blood pressure cuff on your wrist. I'm using an Omron 670IT blood pressure cuff and I'm doing this to make a point. The way you do it is first you take your blood pressure with your arm hanging down at your side in a position down here like this. You make a mark on the wall where the center of your blood pressure cuff is when it's hanging down to your side. <clears throat> then you take your blood pressure while it's up in the air about as far as you can. I suggest you do this while you're sitting in a chair so you're in the same position for both of these readings and you do them uh, probably about three times each in the low and the high positions. I also recommend that if you want to get really accurate about this when you put your arm down you put your other arm up and when you put your uh, blood pressure cuff up you put your other arm down. This is so you've got at least a symmetric relationship between your arms and that's not a variable affecting the blood pressure. Once you get your blood pressure readings, say you get three of each, um, you get systolic and diastolic pressures, the high and the low. I suggest you take the median low values for each of the three high readings and each of the three low readings and then see what the differences are. Uh, in the case of my three readings that I just did, uh, I got a, a median score on the diastolic of 139 when I had the when I had, had my arm down low and 60 when I had it up high. The reason for the difference in blood pressure between low and high has to do with the weight of this much blood, I mean the, the amount of blood between the high and the low points where you were measuring it. It's roughly the, the, the weight of the column of blood that high, which is roughly the, the weight of a column of water that high, because water and blood weigh pretty close to the same. So, knowing that, what you do is you take these marks on the wall that you made when you figured out where your low and your high readings were, and measure the distance between them. In my case, it was about 37 inches between the low and the high points. Now, the diastolic uh, pressures were actually more than a, a factor of two uh, apart. You can... Uh, there's a, there's a huge difference um, in, in diastolic pressure between low and high positions. Uh, this is important because you have to know where your cuff is when you're measuring your blood pressure to get a really good accurate reading. Uh, it should in general, but these things be very close to your heart. In fact, there is a, a, good, um, a good mode that you can set these things to that uh, tries to, to tell you when you have your cuff in the right position to measure your blood pressure. But if it's not in that position and you're not in the mode where it's trying to find the, the heart's level, you can actually get variations of 2 to 1 in, in total diastolic pressure between low and high. So what I learned from my readings is if you assume that uh, the 37 inch differential between my low and my high uh, position readings for diastolic is equivalent to 79 millimeters of mercury, that's, uh, that's 37 inches of, let's say, water. So the way to determine the relative density of of um, mercury is to get the ratio of uh, the 37 inches to uh, well, you can convert um, the 79 millimeters to inches, and do a division, and you come up with uh, 11.9, which is close. But uh, you can actually get closer if you do know the fact that blood is a little bit more dense than water. Its actual density is around 1.06 in most people. If you take that into, uh, into account, uh, multiply the 11.9 times 1.06, you get a density of 12.6, which is actually pretty darn close to the actual known density of mercury of 13.5. So that does demonstrate that there's a lot of hydrostatic pressure difference between an arm dangling and an arm up over your head. The reason I made this video is because I was actually prescribed some, uh, some medication for high blood pressure. Uh, because of uh, a series of, of readings made with a blood pressure cuff like this where it really wasn't enforced where I was holding and I didn't understand when the, the person who, who was doing the, the readings was, was putting the, my arm on my chest that I was supposed to keep it there and, and it went down here and sure enough my blood pressure went up by 10-15 points. So uh, this is sort of a, a caveat to, to the medical profession uh, to these are wonderful, wonderful things, by the way. These, these are wonderful little uh, blood pressure readers that are pretty darn accurate if you use them right. But if you use them wrong, you can end up having people uh, prescribe medication for uh, problems that they don't have. Uh, the arm cuff is, uh, is actually more uh, accurate 
and for a pretty good reason because you can't move the position of your upper arm very much. It's pretty close to the level of your heart uh, and so you always get a pretty good reading there. The, uh, the wrist cuff, factor of two between low and high potential readings. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks. Goodbye. And credit for filming this uh, video goes to my son David, the director and cameraman, and he's also responsible for doing the close-ups on the numbers. Thanks a lot. Bye.